One rural community in Alabama is now better prepared if a natural disaster were to occur with a new safe room. Our Simon Schusler has more and explains why this safety measure hits close to home for one little Texas resident. But I was born right across the road. If there's anyone on earth that loves little Texas, it's Dr. Willie Kirk Jr. The 91 year old has called the rural Macon County community home all his life and serves as the volunteer fire department's business manager. His impact is so noticeable, the road the fire department is on is named after him. So it should go without saying, he cherishes the approval of a storm shelter grant from FEMA that's worth over a hundred grand. We just as happy as we could be. A safe house would seat 48 people with two handicapped things in there, plus uh, a restroom. In the next couple months, these four cones will be replaced with a safe room. It's a safety measure that hits close to home as back in 2019, the nearby community of Beauregard was struck by an EF4 tornado that left multiple dead. If those people in Beauregard would have had something like we've got coming, it would have saved a lot of lives. The safe room will be secured with a combination lock, which will allow all firefighters to open the room at any time, instead of having to find a key during an emergency, making little Texas a little safer. In Macon County, Simon Schusler, WSFA 12 News. Thank you, Simon. According to FEMA, safe rooms have a high probability of protecting those taking shelter from injury or death during severe weather.